We're in the Bahamas. Happens every summer. Things are moving slow. And time to unwind only gives me time to spend alone. And I can't help but wonder if anyone's in town. Scrolling through the phone on a Sunday Just hanging around with nothing to do Summer, loving hey -o, welcome back to another video. In case you're new here, I'm Mark. I'm Amanda. We are down in the beautiful, sunny Caribbean for one reason. I have work to do. <laughs> Can you imagine this? job this company she works for sends her to the Bahamas. Uh, so We have workshops going on. We will be working in the Bahamas, but we extended our trip a little more, so we'll be here two extra days. Yeah, so we've got four days to explore this beautiful country island. And this is the amazing hotel we're staying at. It's the Grand Hyatt at Baja Mar. It's a bit of a mess now. This is what it looked like when we first got here. Though. And I can't help but wonder what she's thinking now. Is she standing alone, going home, or just hanging around with nothing to do? Summer, loving, give me. Check out our cool room keys. They're waterproof, too. Ooh. Okay, not bad. Let's go. <laughs> Locked. Okay, so now that we're ready with Starbucks, today's mission is to get off the resort, right? Yes. Amanda doesn't want to leave, but we're gonna leave the resort. We're gonna go downtown, I guess, down to like the, the downtown Nassau area. We're gonna find this place called the Fish Fry and we're gonna get some local food. Our Uber driver yesterday recommended we try this thing called conch salad. I just need to get away from this resort for a bit. It's beautiful, but it's just not for me all the time. I need to take it in doses. I just want a tan. I need to tan. The thing is, is we can be outside and I can tan. We don't want to catch a cab downtown because it's really expensive, so we have to find a bus. And it's only $1.25, so yeah. can't beat it. Let's so let's see it. if we can find someone that can give us directions. I sound like such a baby though, saying I need to get away from the resort. You do. I you want... need to do something different because he just like needs to be doing something at all times. Yeah. Like, he can't just lay out by the pool or the beach. The resort is really beautiful. I don't want to sound ungrateful but I just want to go out and see the Bahamas because I know this isn't really what the Bahamas is. Are you guys trying to get downtown? Oh, we're good, we're gonna take the bus. Oh, the bus takes forever, brother. I can take right, the straight down. That's all right, we're just, we're just walking around. All right, so I talked to the concierge. He let us know that we can just catch the bus right outside of the property line and we just have to wait under the tiki hut, right? Let's do it. I'm about to lose my mind. We're not entirely sure where we're going. It's one of those things where it sounds very simple. Walk out, catch the bus, it's real easy. And then you get out here and it's like, wait a minute, where the hell is the bus? And we see a lot of transportation things, but I'm not sure if it's, oh shit, that's the bus. We found the bus. It's right there. Okay, good, run, run, run. a fun ride. I think that was the best part of the trip so far. The drivers were awesome though. We are now here at the fish fry and we gotta find some conch. The van behind us is the one we had in New Zealand. Oh, Mitzi, I miss you. There are so many options. Luckily we had the recommendations otherwise we would probably have to try them all which I would have no problem doing. But we're still looking for the place called Drifters, which I think is, is right up here. Looking at all the restaurants on this strip, this is one of the more busy ones, and that's always a good sign. But I can tell. This is giving me a little 
rid of those Bali bags. My <laughs> Rattlers. Back in Bali. <laughs> For those who are unfamiliar with what a Rattler is, it's basically juice with alcohol. <laughs> Delicious. There's also a few domestic beers here. They have the Kalik and the Sands. We've been drinking a lot of the Kaliks. And it's pretty good. Don't mind if I do it, Mark. So some of you may not know what a conch is. I had no idea. But I think a lot of you actually know with this shell. This is a conch shell and basically the meat on the inside is what we're eating. What I'm about to eat is fried conch. So it's called a fritter, conch on the inside. It's hot. Mark, burning my fingers. <laughs> that little, little piece right there, that's the conch. The spices are so good. I think I just spit out some food right now. <laughs> the spices in here are delicious. There's no fishy taste to this at all. It's just like a fried dough with delicious seasoning. Mm. This is delicious. So the consistency reminds me of like a calamari, kind of chewy. And this breaded part, it's almost like sweet, like a fried donut. The combination goes together really well. Okay, so these are the tamarind chicken wings. Let's see. Ooh, it's, it's really sweet. It's like a maple syrup. Let's try it. Ooh, it's pretty good. It's super sweet though. It's not spicy at all, it's just like super sweet. Oh, I can taste a little bit of the tamarind. It's like a tart, a little tart to it, but, oh man, that's a little too sweet actually. That's, that's it's all... coming from me, and I love sweet stuff. I was just gonna say that. Now, now to the main event, the reason we came here. The conch salad, everyone. Ooh, it's just juicy. It looks like a ceviche. Looks like we have a couple different ingredients in here. So we got the conch, so that's what this is. Uh, some tomatoes, some onions, some green peppers. Let's dig in. Ah, it's jam packed. All right, bottoms up. Mm. Very much like ceviche. I wish I had some chips. It was really good. There's no spice and it's not fishy either, which I like. And it tastes fresh. You can like hear the guy chopping. Like the hour we've been here, he's been just been constantly chopping away and the other guy goes to the back and gets more conks. Oh, that conch salad was so good and it's just so nice and refreshing and light. It's a very summery dish. I love the lime, the lemon in it. My favorite though was the were the fritters. Anything Those. fried. <laughs> I know. Was always next Shocking. Level. And then not even a five minute walk away, we are now on a public beach. And this water is crazy. Check this out. Every single summertime. Every time. Look at Amanda picking up garbage. One thing I forgot to mention about um, drifters. It seemed it was like 25% tourists and 75% locals. Yeah, a lot of them were coming after church, family events. So now we're making our way to go downtown and we're heading to this place called Queen Staircase. Let's go. <laughs> and that's it. So going up and down that one strip, there's no shortage of activities. There's a bunch of bars and snorkel rentals. We made a quick pit stop. We found the shop that, this shop that is selling hot sauces. They also have their rum. They had some rum cake that was delicious, but you can very much taste the rum. We also have Pirate's Fire Rum, 130 food. 65% alcohol. Okay, so I'm over here trying to pick one of these hot sauces to take home. And while I'm doing that, Amanda's here getting hammered. They're very small, but I am enjoying myself. Found some hot sauce. Check that off the list. That wasn't even on the list. I know. <laughs> so it was on the list, but not technically written on. <laughs> Whatever. So we were talking with the, uh, the woman in the shop. We asked her what's the quickest way to get to the Queen Staircase. 
and she said, well, it's it's about 4.30 right now. Right. Yeah, she was like, well, it's kind of quiet now. Maybe it's not great for you to go. And we were like, what does quiet mean? Just quiet? Yeah, she was saying it was too quiet for us to go. Yeah, so that, to me, insinuates not safe. It's just there's no one there touring, so they recommended we go back tomorrow. I don't know. Let's just walk. Soon. Yeah, we're going to walk. She recommended another um, scenery. Right now, we are in like the heart of the tour, the tourist yeah. area. But everything shuts down at about 5, so everything is starting to get quiet here. So we'll walk up here and we'll see how much time we have and how close we are to the staircase and whether or not we want to risk going. I mean, I do have a bodyguard. And we've got some hot sauce to throw on their faces. Look at this blue church. The government house and that beautiful statue there is Christopher Columbus. This is actually the official home of the governor. There's a lot of uh, security up there, unlike our uh, royal palace back in Norway, which we were visiting a couple weeks ago, where you could just walk up to the front door, basically. This, not so much. They even have a can in there to scare you away. All right, our hotel is really nice, but the drinks are so expensive, so we picked up some alcohol off the strip. <laughs> It was so much cheaper. Like the beers were like three dollars here. At our hotel, it was eight, nine dollars for one beer. Ah. And now we're on the bus waiting for it to fill up, and we can go back. You guys want to play some tennis? <laughs> we're gonna go put these bottles up in the room, and then we'll show you guys around the hotel. Oh, cheers. Ah, to the beautiful Bahamas. So I just wanted to talk real quick about not going to the Queen's staircase. We've generally just always gone where we felt like going. We try not to feed into too much of like, it's dangerous, it's dangerous. But I mean, you know, we are walking around with this big camera, yeah. big backpack. Clearly we're tourists. It's not worth it. Yeah. You never know. We started walking in the direction just to try to get a feel and it just, there wasn't a lot of people on the streets in general. The atmosphere yeah. quickly changed from like the tourist street to the next, it was only one block over, but it was a completely different vibe. At no point have we felt unsafe here. We've only been greeted with lots of friendliness, everyone being very helpful and nice, even outside of the resort, because I understand it is a service industry here. People are going to be nice because that's what they're getting paid to do. Mm -hmm. But even beyond that, people have kind of gone above and beyond to be very helpful. Even the lady at the store that told us, you know, she wasn't recommending going. She like walked us out and showed us which direction to take to get to the governor's house. Yeah. That de definitely doesn't happen in New York. Hopefully we didn't let any of you guys down. <laughs> Here's a quick factoid about the Queen's Staircase and a photo of what it looks like. There you have it. And now, let's see a little bit more of what this awesome hotel looks like. It is our last couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> in the Bahamas. We just saw two turtles. A stingray, like a giant stingray. A giant one. And then like a little baby one that had cool little dots. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah. And you have to go in the I water. Was, I was over here running down the pier because I saw a little turtle pop its head out. I'm like a turtle. A little turtle head. <laughs> The Bahamas trip has been a success. Amanda's co-workers, or like her whole company, had a great time. Yep. 
We're fam. A lot of team bonding yeah. happened. It's really cool to see like your colleagues on vacation, like just getting to know them a little better and like their true selves. In the raw form. Yeah. So I think we're gonna end it here. Yeah. And Headed back to New York to see our little baby boy. To see the to see the pooch. So don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video. In the, the next video.